Hey guys, Heather here from Tie-Dyed Iguana, and today we're going to check out what's in this tank. It is a lizard that you don't get to see a lot because it's underground a lot of the time. So we're going to go check it out. It's called the Mangrove Monitor. Now I actually had to dig her up to get her to come out to see you all. She likes to kind of burrow underneath the ground during the day sometimes, but she's really active and loves to eat. But these monitor lizards are not one of the larger ones. They only get to be about three and a half to four feet long with the males getting bigger than the females. So we're not sure if this is a male or female yet. So we're not entirely sure how big this one will get. We're not sure on the age either. So still got quite a bit of growing to do. <laughs> now if you look around at the tank that he or she is in, you'll notice that uh, we've got a lot of branches in this tank. And that is because these guys are arboreal. Where they're found, out in the wild, they like to hang out in the trees. So we've got branches in here to simulate that. And of course we got a water dish. Uh, they kind of hang out by streams and stuff in the wild. So she can splash around in this if she wants to. These guys are pure carnivores. They eat all sorts of meat material. With it being this small though, we just feed it crickets. And uh, yeah, he or she loves their crickets, don't ya? Yeah, you're cute. Now this one is a little bit on the shy side. So whoever uh, buys this one as a pet, they'll have to tame it. But you can handle it. As I'm going to show you, they're a little bit wiggly. Yeah, you're going to be a little wiggle. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, you're a little wiggle butt. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like to be held very much right now. But with a little time spent with its new owner, it should calm down a little bit. Arboreal ones like these can be pretty uh, feisty if they want to be. And she's going to go hide again. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll let her go hide. She went and hid in her log. But uh, we'll give you some extra footage that we took of her while we give you a few fun facts. So these guys' scientific name is Varanus Indicus. And they're, I didn't mention their lifespan when I was talking about how big they get. They, uh, they'll live about 12 to 20 years with proper care, of course. Uh, they could live even longer if you, uh, you know, as long as they don't get sick, don't develop anything strange, anything wrong with them. You have a longer lifespan. And of course, this tank that you see here, this is a 40 gallon breeder that, um, It'll only be good for it when it's young. When it gets older, it gets to be more than three to four feet, it'll definitely need to be in a much bigger tank, a bigger enclosure. So, you'll probably have to build a custom one if you get a mangrove monitor as a pet for when it reaches adult size. All right, I was able to find it again, but now it's trying to poop on me. That's usually what it does when I try to pick it up. Yeah, I know. Don't be mad. You'll get used to it. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's not really aggressive at all when you hold it. So that's why I think it'll be a good candidate for taming down. Yes. Yes, you're silly, aren't you? You're trying to pee on me. We'll put you down though. All right, let's put you down. You can see that she, he or she gets a little huffy when they get picked up, so yeah, not too much of a big of a fan of that right now, but with a little time, it should get better. Did you poop on me? Yeah. Or no, is that just dirt? That's a little bit of poo. That's okay. That's okay, I don't mind. That's just what happens. You're still a cutie. Yes, you are. You're so cute. So yeah, we thought we'd feature the mangrove monitor today uh, because it's been here for quite a while and it hasn't found a new home yet. So we kind of like to showcase the ones that have been here for a while and that need a good home. We also moved it to an upper level instead of a lower level so that people can see it better, get a better look at it. So we're hoping that somebody sees this video and might think of uh, adding this little guy or girl to their family. So thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.